Hey everyone, welcome back to the Outer Ram. This is part two, healing and treating your foot injuries and in skateboarding. So I'm just making breakfast here this morning, getting ready to go into the third layer skate park. And uh, so I actually, uh, my buddy, who you may or may not know, his name's Tanner Van Vark, hit me up on uh, social media after seeing the post um, with the foot in the snowbank and uh, he brought up a great point, and that is to use a tennis ball. I've been using a tennis ball for years. I've been reactivating this heel bruise for a decade, uh, maybe even two. Ever since I learned to jump downstairs is when it started on my back foot, and uh, using the tennis ball. So right down here, I'm just crunching and kneading my foot in while I make breakfast right to that heel. It really sucks. It's really painful, but... Um, and this is Tanner's advice, do this before you ice. So I'm going to ice it right after this. And uh, just more on treating and healing your foot injuries out there in skateboarding, which are bound to happen. Remember that, kid. So I'm going to actually have a couple more parts before this part two comes out. So it's going to be like kind of choppy. It's not like a one and done go, but that's what's up. Thanks for watching. So, gang, part two is um, a couple things here I'd like to share. It's taking vitamins, right? So I got a couple here that um, really are, I like to thank her for my skateboarding out there. So one, vitamin D3, and I'll try to focus this in, but right there it says for bone health, all right? So nobody likes snapping bones, so have support, and right here, supports bones and immune health. So get some vitamin D3 out there. Uh, I've broken my leg before, and I don't want to do that again so this might help um, next another thing here uh, turmeric supreme extra strength helps reduce occasional inflammation due to normal daily wear and tear that is skateboarding right here uh, and one of my favorite words right there foundational support so we've been talking a lot about foundation building your foundation and skateboarding get some turmeric supreme out there extra strength uh, vegan nice so msn this is uh this is my knee slide and stuff right here uh cartilage support all right so and this is probably helping me right now i think like i have some cartilage things going on in my foot um but supports healthy cartilage and connective tissue so gotta need you're gonna need that if you're gonna knee slide and uh definitely in the wrists and elbows and everything like that hip joints and uh MSM right there. And the last one, I take two a day. Uh, glucosamine, chondroitin, sulfate. This is for joint health. Um, and uh, whew, another knee slider right there. Healthy joint structure and function. So I'm old. You're young probably watching this. But if you're an old timer like myself, over 30, uh, maybe think about getting into some vitamins out there. And that will help you out on your way too. All right. Uh, I got well, a couple more parts before we end this part two. All right, so the last thing I'm doing here is applying some uh, Arnica Care gel. Uh, sorry, that's all blurry. Pain relief. So muscle pain, stiffness, swelling from injuries and bruising. That's exactly what I got. Um, this is great stuff right here. Looks like bio, bio iron or something. Bioron. That's the maker of this. Sorry, it's all blurry. Again, my camera's getting old. But as you know, or maybe you don't know about the Art of Ram, it's not the quality of the video. It's the quality of the content. So hope you've been enjoying, and uh, maybe I'll have a couple more things as the day goes on, and I'll post this later today. All right, ram it down. What's up, gang? Back at it. Uh, talking about this skateboard injuries, uh, especially with your foot. And uh, this is the final final take on it. But uh, we talked about a little bit is the compression. I got a bag of snow from outside. I've had my ankle wrapped up all day and my foot. It's feeling a lot better. Um, I'm down to one crutch. Things are working. A bruise is coming out. So that's always a good sign. It means it's sort of healing itself. And uh, I got it wrapped on there nice and tight. Bag of snow. Um, and a comment from the first video from Brian Howard. He was saying... Uh, that it, you know, if you can learn to take care of your injuries as a young person, it's only going to help you when you're older out there. Totally back what he's saying out there. 
Again, the tip from Tanner Van Vark, real skateboards rider. He was saying, use that tennis ball out there. And, um, you know, I really don't wish this on anyone ever. However, it's probably going to happen out there. So I hope this video, part one and two, will help you guys heal your feet quicker. I feel like I'm going to be back riding my board um, slowly and lowly <laughs> uh, by the end of the week. But just going to go with uh, the feeling and the mobility of all. If I can do the ABCs with my ankle again, that's usually a good sign. If I can e-slide again, we're in. So uh, I'm not going to rush it, but also... Uh, I do want to keep the strength and mobility, so I'm going to keep stretching, doing yoga, icing, ricing, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching the Outer Ram. Subscribe below. And we did film a video today of dropping in, so that's going to be uh, launching a little bit later on today, too. I hope you guys enjoy that. We're coming down to the end of basic skateboarding, and uh, you guys have been working hard. I know it. And uh, people have been talking... Uh, to me about how it's been helping so thanks a lot everyone and keep watching subscribe all that good stuff tell your friends because without you guys spreading the word it's gonna it's not gonna benefit as many people as it could out there take care for now and uh we'll see you next time Rem